Hello there, Aquarius. Let's get your messages for March 22nd through the 29th. We're, we've just passed the equinox and we're shifting into a new season, like a new weather season, but also another astrological season. So spring and Aries season, which is really the, the, we consider it to be the beginning of the Zodiac, but I'm not so sure about that. But you know, I don't, I don't really weigh in very much about that because I don't care that much. Anyway, anyway, Aquarius, full moon is happening in a fellow air sign of Libra at the end of the week, which means, what does that mean for you? It's shining a light on the conflict between who you present yourself as being to others and who you really want to be inside. And it makes you think, what have I been doing for other people that I don't really want to be doing? You're like, wait, I, like, yeah, you're really getting, it's, it's, you're more in tune to it during this week than you usually are. It bothers you more than it usually does. So let's go ahead and get started on these messages. We've got the five of cups coming out. It was in the upright and the energy is about being frustrated with being frustrated with yourself and your inability to please other people how come I, how do i how am i always screwing things up that's what you're asking yourself and um yeah i think this this the, the way the moon is shining on your inner self you're wondering how we, how it is that you're always so how how you're always so selfish and and i wonder if if you're in some kind of um or you have been in some kind of emotionally abusive situation that makes you think that you're bad in some way by just being you. So there's that, okay? That's something to really look at. Am I really selfish? Like, are you seeing a therapist right now to bounce this off of? That doesn't mean like you're crazy, is it? No, it means you need, everybody needs someone that's objective to bounce their concerns off of. You can't just depend on yourself and we've got the magician here, but, but there's these things. I'm frustrated with myself that I can't please people all the time, but there's these things that I want to do. Well, you got to do them, right? I don't know all the words to describe what the conflict that's going on in my head right now while I'm sitting in your energy. The, the, the conflict uh, between, is it is it like... The objective morality, the the ethical objectiveness of you doing you and not really being concerned about what other people think about that. Like objectively, if you're just doing you, as long as you're not hurting other people, it should be like, you should just be able to do that. You're actually making the world a better place because you're not living in, in internal conflict, right? You doing you that makes life better for other people that also like you're living your life purpose that also makes makes life better for other people is even better right but if there's a couple of people that have put their dependence on you unfairly they've invested in you when you didn't ask for it so they've invested a lot of inner time and energy into into you when you didn't ask for it. And what ends up happening is somehow you're disappointing them. Your behavior disappoints them. It makes you feel ashamed. It makes you feel worried about whether or not you're going to lose their love. That's not fair. That's not fair. You didn't ask for it. So keep that in mind, okay? Try to be, when people are doing nice things for you, make sure and clarify to them that, like, you're doing this for you, you're not doing this for me. Now, if you need something from someone, yeah, you're on their terms. And so you, if if they're like, oh, make sure you communicate that though. Don't just be like, hey, I need this. And just like, be ashamed. Because this, this is an ashamed card, right? Accepting their gifts and then being ashamed that you asked for the gifts. Instead of living in shame, if there's something that you need that someone else is able to provide for you, provide for you make sure you're clear about the terms of the gift when you ask for it or the favor when you ask for it make sure and be really clear about that articulate um, if you do this for me what am I going to need to do to make us square um, and if they say no 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 it's no big deal like they've said it that's it you have nothing to be ashamed of 
but if they're like I'm not sure then you know see what you can work out but make sure that the communication is clear and open because this the thing is we don't we don't want to live in this vibration we don't want to live in the shame of vibration we want to live in the in the vibration of, I hope I didn't let the shame of vibration the vibration of shame um we want to live in pride we want to live in dignity yeah those are the those are the feelings we want to focus on and that's what we'll attract the more shame that we feel the more we'll attract it so instead let's turn it to pride look at this magician with his chest puffed out how proud he is about what he can create in the world and he is alone in his creation i should point that out he's doing this all by himself and so if other people are like trying to help you out you're like no this is just me right now i just got to do my own thing my own way and so you're speaking up for that this week with that with that full moon coming in in Libra. There's a little bit of a conflict happening with people wanting things from you. And you're like, I got to do me. I got to create in my own way right now. Do it. All right. And don't feel ashamed of it. This is where I leave off. Love you, Aquarius. Mwah! I will see you soon. Make sure you're subscribed if you love my vibe because I post videos two or three times a week. Be in the loop. I'll see you later.